Well, here we are. We have the entire bottom cut out from the back, the middle, and the front. So the next thing we have to do is figure out how we're going to lift this body high enough to put the frame under it. And the wheels on the frame are 26 inches in diameter. So I feel like I need at least 26 inches in height to roll the frame under. So uh, you can see here, I've mounted some two inch angle iron to where the door hinges mount. I would have gone directly to the A pillar, but these bolts come in from the inside and you can see the dashes right here in the way. And I, after removing 790 pounds uh, underneath, I can actually lift the front of the car from what's left of that core support. So I'm thinking there's not going to be a ton of weight here, judge it as it is, but I'm, I'm going to lift from right here. So imagine if you will, a trailer jack welded to the angle iron, something like this. And we're going to use this to lift the car up. I'll have one on both sides and then I'm going to put one here in the middle of the back. We can weld the jack back here and I don't think we'll have any clearance issues with the frame. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm going to go ahead and prepare to get this welded. I'm going to clean off the paint and get these welded on. Here you can see I've got these kind of mocked up in place and the reason that I have this 2x2 two two steel running under it is to mimic the floor right here because when I lower this down ultimately I want the rockers to be on the floor. So that's the reason that I've got it set up like this. So I'm going to need to grind off all the paint you know, all the way down. Uh, to the bottom there. So I'll get that ground off. I'll get the, these welded on and I will slowly take this down and then uh, once we are all the way down I'm going to go ahead and set this one um, because in the back it's going to be higher than what these are right here. So when I come back I will have these welded on and probably have the feet on the ground. I may have mentioned earlier, I, I did see somebody, I think out of Australia, that was doing something very similar to this. Um, I think he was working on a Holden Ute, which would probably be the same as a Monte Carlo uh, here in the States. All right, I have these jacks welded on and I've already lowered the car and lowered the jack stands so they can go even lower. So. In the rear, I still need to mount one in the middle of the back over here. So for now, I just have this piece of wood on the jack. Now this car is not very heavy, so I don't have an issue doing this. You can see right now it's still resting on the jack stands. So I'm going to set up my GoPro and do a time lapse and I'm going to lower it the rest of the way down. Here is a little preview of what's to come. I couldn't lower the back anymore because the wheel is hitting inside the tub. So that's obviously going to get fixed. And we don't have any clearance issues with these wheels, but once I get the frame underneath, I'm not sure you know, what the track width is exactly going to look like on here. So. 
Um, this will be yet to be determined. I think they'll sit in further uh, and hopefully they do so that we have some turning radius because these are sitting up right up against the fender but it looks pretty sweet and even with a little bit of a rake to the back uh, I kind of dig that too so just wanted to show you what this looks like I'm getting more and more excited so uh, these jacks also pretty happy with those um, I'm gonna go ahead and get these tires out I just wanted to get them in there just as a visual and then once I get those out I'll get the body all the way on the ground and then I'll uh, weld in the jack on the back so so then we'll be able to actually run this thing up and down how I need to in order to get the frame under it all right you can see we've got this welded up on the back and then on the front we're ready to go so I'll get it back up, I'll set it on jack stands, and um, watch the next video. I'll be rolling the frame under it, and we'll be clearing some sheet metal just to make sure that we can get the body down uh, level with the frame. So I want the rockers to be at the same level as the bottom of the frame. <laughs> 